Brian McAvoy here with Inside Out Trading and got a little bit of a different message for you today. Uh, question is, um, you know, have you ever been stuck in traffic uh, you know, on your way to somewhere pretty important? Uh, maybe had a flat tire, uh, you know, get stuck behind a, uh, you know, at the, at the end of a railroad or, you know, behind a, a railroad crossing and the train stopped and you, know, you look either way and the train's as long as you can see either way. Uh, and you just, you know, you're really getting frustrated and mad and upset. But what do you do about it? Uh, I mean, here's here's the key thing. Do you, do, you, do you get mad? Maybe you get bored, turn off the car, you know, get resigned. Uh, or do you turn around and go home? Uh, or, you know, do you get out of the car and just walk away and say, you know, I quit? No, the thing is, if where you're going is important, um, you know, you're going to stay in the car and you're either going to, you know, turn around, find another route to get where you're going, you know, get around the traffic jam, or you'll you'll wait it out. Uh, I mean, even if you hit, you know, traffic's, you know, just crawling along, as so long as you're still moving, you know, you'll probably stay with it. Um, and the reason I'm, I'm asking you all this, bringing all this up, is uh, as far as trading goes, uh, I mean, you've heard the statistic, you know, 90% of all people will, you know, lose all their money in the first six months. And, yeah, that's a fact. I mean, even that, that is a statistic that's been there almost forever because trading is pretty challenging. And it's a personal challenge. It isn't so much of a difficulty challenge. I mean, they're, they're, the, the technical side of trading really isn't that difficult. It is in keeping yourself organized, treating it like a business, keeping your head on straight, and not making all the, you know, the, the, the mistakes that cost big money. Um, and so my point is. Uh, you know, even the the traders that you know you read about, you see published all over the place, they'll have their stories. You know, when they were when they were early in their trading years, yeah, you know, they blew out their account once, twice, three times, four times. Maybe you've blown out your account already once. If you haven't yet, accept it that you probably will. Now, here's the thing, though. If the time comes, you know, say say you've been trading for five, six, eight months, five weeks, a, a year. And you know, the time comes, yeah, you go through that rough spell where, bam, you blow out your account and, and either completely wipe it out or pretty close. Uh, even if you, you know, you have a, a good taste for success, you know, you, you've reached a, a measure of success, but all of a sudden, you know, you, you're hitting that that spot where you hit the wall and you're blowing your account out. Are you going to quit? Are you going to get out of the car and just walk away and say, I quit? No. Um, if, if you understand that the, you know, if you understand the fact that yes, it is likely that you will blow out your account once, twice, maybe even three times, on your way to your ultimate goal of being a successful trader that has a nice, you know, consistent, steady income from trading, um, and, and you just, you know, you go ahead and understand that, and maybe even kind of plan for it, or you know, you expect that it's likely to happen. But you're going to continue anyway. You know, if if it does happen, you know that you blow out your account. Okay, you know you'll you'll, you'll step back, you'll regroup, uh, you'll take a look, you know, take a different approach to things. But you're going to stay after your long-term goal. Um, if if you have that determination and that perseverance, you will make it. If you make the determin determination that you know, come come heck or high water, you are going to be a successful trader. You'll find a way there. It's just like when you get stuck in traffic. You know, you'll, you'll either wait it out, you'll you'll plod along at the you know two miles an hour, uh, you know, pace, or you'll turn around and find a different route. Uh, you'll you'll find a way to get where you want to go, and and it is a matter of you know personal determination. So I just wanted to bring this up because you know if you if you feel like you're hitting that brick wall, don't just give up. It's okay to feel despair and frustration and disappointment and you know tons of self you know self doubt and questioning and all that. But have faith in yourself that you know you are smart enough to make it. You've got what it takes, and just make the determination that you're going to stay in the car and you're going to get there one way or another. Uh, you might have to change your direction. You might have to change the route you take. Uh, that's okay. You know, learn from your mistakes and and keep going. Keep pursuing the goal. If this really, you know, if trading really is what you want, uh, make the determination that you're going to make it regardless of what it takes. Now, do try to be smart about it along the way. Do learn from your mistakes. 
learn from others' mistakes, uh, get help where you can. But like I said, stay in the car, make sure you get to your final destination, you know, the, the, the promised land of you know, wonderfully consistent and, and you know, healthy, high-yield returns uh, and, you know, that are to be found in trading. So Brian McAvoy with Inside Out Trading uh, on YouTube. I'm known as Trader Brian. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to you know share these thoughts with you because I, I feel they're important. And every now and then a person you know does need some you know some words of encouragement. Uh, do stay with it. Uh, you, odds are you have what it takes, and it is simply a matter of determination. So I wish you the best, and I'm here to help. Uh, cheers.